I'm in the bunk bed, as you can see. <laughs> I used to sleep in this when I was like eight. It's still here though, in the other bedroom. Oh boy, it is the next morning. I slept till about 10. The concert was incredible. I'm amazed at like how everything turned out alright yesterday because it reached about 4 o'clock and I hadn't even put the bikes on the car and I was panicking and I put the rack on the wrong way around and then I suddenly realised that I had to get to home in Surrey then get the train into London and I intended to get there at 6.30 because I was like if we don't get there early we'll never get good like because it's like unreserved standing uh, tickets. So we never get a good spot. We'll be right at the back. Then we got in at half seven, about quarter to eight, and like we were so near the front because it was like the support act, and people were still drinking in the bar and stuff. The music was absolutely incredible. I've seen them three times now, and I think that was by far the best. They played all the hits. They played Dead Star. They played Assassin. They played. Unsustainable, which is my guilty pleasure. I know a lot of Muse fans find it a bit. It's like sort of dubstep performed on electric guitar, but it was really fun. And then Showbiz from their first album 20 years ago. Um, it was amazing. And then halfway through, everyone just started moshing and jumping up and down, and it was crazy it was loud it was bright it was sweaty it was ridiculous it's everything you want from a gig and then afterwards there was a giant queue for the cloakroom so we had a little wander around the albert hall it's very nice we went up right to the top in the gallery and got some pictures uh, i think maddie is editing this vlog so i'll send all the footage and the stuff to her it's a shame my phone camera is a bit rubbish because there were like people in front of me with their iphone x's and stuff and they were getting such crisp video and stable video um I think I got some more right ones, but never mind. You don't go to a gig to film and take pictures, really, do you? Yeah, it was amazing. And today I think I'm going to have a rest day. I know it's Vlogmas, but I drove about f over 500 miles uh, in the space of 24 hours yesterday. So I think I've earned it. I'm going to eat lots of food and actually run a few errands. I've got some presents in the car that I need to wrap up for my family. I might as well leave them here while I'm here instead of lugging them to Cornwall and back. I need a shower. <laughs> I haven't showered yet. Ah. Uh. Good morning, or well, it's actually afternoon. I have a vlog today, and I'm still in the very near position to where I was, sorry, last night when I said goodnight. It is like one, two in the afternoon now, and this morning I woke up, I had a lie-in, which I really, really needed till 10, which is crazy. And I felt so much better and then I was woken up by Frankie meowing and meowing non-stop and I went to see what was wrong and I was like Frankie you were like why are you meowing and he just purred at me I don't know why that cat does that sometimes <laughs> yeah I've just had breakfast and lunch and sat and chilled with my family I went to took the dogs for a walk just now I feel like this is this is what I do when I come to Cornwall I really just relax and recuperate and just hang out with my family and don't do a great deal I feel like I'm just going to explain a few things because maybe there's a few people who are maybe watching my vlogmas who don't know what's going on or um, aren't up to date on things so basically we moved from Brighton obviously over the weekend as you saw and we're moving to Cornwall we did a whole video explaining everything so you can go watch that but we are stopping over at my parents house until our house that um we're moving into is ready we haven't like told you which house we we ended up buying or we haven't like you know gone into detail about anything yet just because when you buy a house it takes a long time and there's lots of like nitty gritty boring solicitors and solicitor stuff and searches and just it takes so long so I don't want to jinx it and also I just think it's the sort of thing you don't want to put out onto the internet until it's all confirmed and it's your home. We're hoping to exchange and do all that very very shortly so fingers crossed we can also move very shortly but that means we're going to have to pack the van up again and move down again which is going to be slightly weird but then we'll be in our house we'll be in there for for Christmas and for vlogmas so stay tuned because I'm kind of like 
really glad that this is happening over vlogmas because it means we're going to have daily vlogs of it because if it happened over any other month we will probably wouldn't have daily vlogged it because it would have been really really hectic but it's forcing us to um capture it and we can watch this back and that's really kind of exciting so alex probably won't get back till late tomorrow i'm not really sure when he'll get back but we will you know maybe do some house shopping or christmasy shopping uh this at the end of this week and prepare for the move it's annoying that we don't know when we're moving because we really want to sort out bills and internet and all that type of stuff but we aren't we haven't been given a date so hmm but yeah when he comes down we can do some fun stuff but i don't know what i'm gonna do. i don't know what i'm gonna film today honestly because i'm just sitting in my house we might i might help my mum clear out a bit um, when i was last hit here i helped her sort out this wardrobe because this room used to be my room and now it's like an arts and crafts space but um now it's filled with loads of our stuff that we brought down last time so i might do i think she wanted to sort out her dvd cupboard so maybe we'll do that but i don't know I feel guilty that these these vlogs might not be as interesting as I'd hoped. It's really weird when you haven't daily vlogged in a while and you start daily vlogging, you forget how difficult it is to remain entertaining every day of your life because as a YouTuber or someone online, you kind of just spend, you, you upload a lot of stuff of you having fun times and then all the downtime isn't documented. So all these kind of times when I'm in Cornwall by, by myself or when I'm in Cornwall with my family or when I'm working or sitting on my laptop, which is the majority of the time, it's not documented. So maybe that's kind of interesting. Maybe today having a day where I look a bit crazy and look at me. <laughs> I've looked so crazy for the whole time of Vlogmas so far. I swear I will start to look more presentable soon, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so I just want to show you a part of this room that's kind of cool because this room was really horrible years and years ago and then my parents, my sister and my mum did it up as a surprise for me. And they did all these things like DIY. So they like made these frames with these lovely pictures back when I was like super into fashion. And they got me this mannequin. And then they did this whole like picture gallery wall, which is just so Pinterest, isn't it so, so cool? This is now like my mum's kind of art area. This wasn't here before. Um, how cool is it? We used to have like a chair here and it was so, so glam. And then they made these like shelves out of old, are these boxes or something? They painted them gloss black, which is just so, so cool. And obviously these are sort of arts and crafts things in here now. And then this is like a chalkboard paint, which they painted in the, in the hallway. They also painted this wardrobe white and then they did these. These have kind of uh, bleached out from the sun in this room, but they made these beautiful, um, whatchamacallits for photos. So they're sort of, um, got these clips on them. So these were old photo frames and they've just got rope across with these little clips and then they printed off photos. Such a simple DIY. I feel like that would be a lovely Christmas present for somebody. And also here, look, this little pin board. Oh, look, let me show you. This is from my prom. So there's me, um, and that was our prom photo, and I wore this dress that's covered in feathers. In fact, maybe I have it in this cupboard. Yes, look, here it is. Oh god. Okay, I don't want to get that out in case it destroys everything, but look, you can see all the feathers on the top and the bottom, and then this dress. This is my GCSE textiles dress that I made. I'm so proud of this still. So it has a huge skirt. It was the 50s inspired dress, and then I hand embroidered all these sequins onto it. And it's got like a boned bodice. So it was um sort of dress that when you spin, it's huge. And it has um mesh underneath it to give it body. But yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but I wore this like this. And I wonder if I have a photo I can insert on the screen because this was so much fun to make. Yeah, look. Wee! <laughs> So cool, I actually love it. And I specifically chose this material because of how shiny it is. So if you look, it like has all these different tones in it. So it looks like water. Isn't that beautiful? I'm actually pretty proud of myself with this dress. And I am sat sequining this dress um, while watching Spirited Way on a loop because I loved that movie so much when I was a kid. When I was, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. I still do love that movie, but um, yeah, I, that's what, when I see this dress, I just think of Spirited Away because I just watched it on a loop back, you know, on repeat and just embroidered all of these sequins, which took so long. And it's supposed to be kind of like an ombre fade. So it's bigger at the top and then fades from the, down here. But, woohoo. So there's that trip down memory lane. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and ask my mum if she wants to sort through the DVD cupboard. I haven't done my advent calendar. Look, Alex is behind. He's only on number two. So it's number four now. Very hard to do this one-handed. 
Yummy. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a mess. Right, um. is there a light in here? So these are all of our DVDs. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Because you sorted it out recently, right? Yeah. Friends box set. All the OCs. And one charm. You've got the Kardashians. Oh my goodness. Legally blonde. Right, shall I just go through them and then you... Hold on, just make go. piles. Just... Right. The Lion King VHS. We can get rid of that. Yeah. Beethoven second VHS. Get rid of it. These are all on Netflix. Secret Garden. The light with glimmering silver white You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles So that was a huge success, all of these were full And now we have all of these that are gonna go Look at that So many But these are all my dad's and we have to ask him later because they're like sports ones, so we'll see. Mm. So I just made a really random smoothie because I was kind of hungry mid-afternoon and it is a banana, a handful of mango, frozen mango, some lettuce because my mum didn't have any spinach, some orange juice, some uh, uh, soy milk and that is it. But it tastes really refreshing. Lettuce is like a weird thing to put in a smoothie, I feel like, but still greens and it's actually made it really yummy and refreshing. I feel like that'd be lovely in the summer, but I'm going to sit down and edit now because I've got to edit yesterday's video. Alex has sent me some files from yesterday, so hopefully it won't take too long and then I can get that up. And that was successful clearing out those DVDs. My mum did a great job and she's going to have so much more space now. <laughs> Hello, little one. Come to join me. <laughs> I think she's scared of this camera. I think the dogs are slightly scared of this camera. It's okay. It's just a microphone. <laughs> she just I was just sat here um uploading yesterday's Vlogmas and she just came in and just looked at me like, Hello, are you okay? Like just checking to see if I'm okay and you know not lonely or anything. I just thought I'd ring Alex and let's bet how, let's make a bet on whether you think he will answer or not. So let's, I'll answer the poll here. I know what my vote is. Tension is building. Will he answer? Can't take your call right now. Just leave you a message after the tone. And win. What a surprise. Welcome to um, the behind the scenes reality of Alex and how he never answers the phone. <laughs> I was just going to ring him just to um, see if he'd watched yesterday's vlog. It's very weird because usually when we film Vlogmas or we vlog together, we live the day together so we don't... Oh! Would you look at that? He's actually ringing me back. Hello? Hello, Hello I'm filming for the vlog. What do you want? <laughs> I just um, I just filmed myself ringing you and I said, how much do you bet Alex is gonna pick up the phone? Uh, are you filming now? Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> because I um, wanted to let them in on how annoying you are and how you never answer the phone. Okay. Have you seen the vlog that I just uploaded? I was literally about to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to see what your thoughts were on my edit. I'm really sorry, guys. Alex is because he's travelling and he was... What's that noise you're making? Hey? What's that noise you're making? Sorry, I was peeing. Are you joking? No. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? What? <laughs> I'm leaving that in the video. Alright, I can multitask. <laughs> Are you actually peeing? Well, I've finished now. Never. No, did you actually pee? Alan? Yeah. Oh my goodness me, can you just stop? I'm well, finished now, I just flush the toilet. Yeah, and you're making a lot of annoying noise. Uh, well, that's what they signed up for. I wanted to know what your thoughts were, were on the... Where, where? <laughs> oh yeah, I was saying, I'm really sorry wait, because... Wait, wait. <laughs> because Alex... Wait, 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 wait. Stop. <laughs> because Alex usually... <laughs> oh my god. Because Alex is usually the one who edits the vlogs for this channel. I edit the vlogs for my channel. Alex is obviously yeah. driving and doing lots of things. So he didn't, couldn't edit. So I've had to edit the last few days of Vlogmas. So I feel bad because normally Alex does all these funny, cute edits and makes it really funny. Whereas I've just been editing the very boringly. And I, I've received, received comments before saying, Oh, I can tell when Maddie edits and it's not as good. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, people have commented that before. Oh, in the past, right. Mmm, not this time round. Okay, good. But I'm sure you guys can notice Alex puts, like, funny, silly stuff in, um, which is really great, and he 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 ends up taking a lot longer than I do to edit, because I just edit yeah. it and get it done, because I realise I, ha I don't have the time, because Vlogmas is really you, challenging. You don't really care about the viewers like I do. <laughs> no, I just think that, like, I just think I don't have time. I mean, I'm so busy. Uh, I I know, yeah, I agree with you. I'm so busy right now, I'm lying in bed, I mean, I'm watching YouTube, I just yeah. I just don't have the time. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Sometimes I take too long. Yeah, we should. We need to find like a balance between the two of us. Yeah. Guess what I have for pudding? Pudding? Yeah. Uh, ben and Jerry's? No. Booja Booja? No. Apple Crumble? No. Magnums? No, uh, I... Go on passion fruit? I had that yesterday, but I had the Waitrose oh. chocolate tort that... Oh, um, what? Yeah, that... Me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so when we went to our auntie and uncle's the other night, they got us a vegan chocolate tort from Waitrose, but because we were so full, we shared one of them, but Alex ate most of it. I had, like, a bite. So oh. we... She gave us the other one, and I had it tonight. It's so good. If you're in Waitrose, go and get it, because it is unreal especially if you like if you were going to go to someone's house for christmas you could bring that and then have that as pudding i got you a gift in waitrose today did you was it on bar yeah <laughs> yay that's my favorite chocolate what else would it be <laughs> um how's your day been have you been relaxing after your moshing yesterday i have been a bit I haven't really done my... I feel like the day's gone by and I don't really know what I've done. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's probably because you needed to chill out and have a day like that. Yeah. I have. Yeah, it's kind of been relaxing. I've also been like... I had to unpack my brother's car and stuff. And yeah. I'm doing a bit of laundry and then I went, you know... Have you been vlogging at all? Uh, apart from the stuff I did this morning, which is going in the next vlog or this vlog, I guess. Yeah. Um, no. Alex, he's such a bad what? vlogger. Well, I don't really know what to do. I haven't really doing much. This is the second vlog in a row that has ended with me in bed. Oh, you're in bed right now? Yeah. Is that you? Huh? What's that noise? The bird flew in the window. No, <laughs> what was it? It's a little bird. No, what was it? Here, uh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, isn't he cute? Alex. <laughs> Can you stop winding me up? What is it? Oh, he's flying away. What is it? Not no bird. No, Alex. I'm not a five-year-old. What is it? It's a little bird, Maddie. 
<laughs> it's some toy bird my brother has. Oh, okay. Well, Do you have anything you want to say to the viewers? I don't know. So I apologise for Maddie's editing. <laughs> okay. Pretty much it. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, I'm guys. I can do until I get back. Alex will take over and he will spend the whole day editing Vlogmas. And then they'll... This is the thing. Because when you edit Vlogmas, the editing is better, but the content's not as good because we spend the whole day editing mm. and then we're like, shit. Whereas what I've been doing is I've been spending my day and then at four, when there's nothing to do, I've been editing. Are we forced not to edit like that, like I used to? Yeah. Um, I just the time. And I don't really have the inclination at this time of year to be doing that either. No. I want to enjoy Christmas as well. And I think that people watching would much rather we just edited and got it up and then... Yes, exactly. And we're less stressed and just... Even if about the is very good from you, that's fine. I'm great at I mean, it's not fine. I mean, it's annoying. I even had a spelling mistake yesterday. I'm so good at editing. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else notice that i just what? i just uploaded it and i was watching it. i was like for god's sake is there ever a video i don't upload that i make a spelling mistake because i always type it fast like i i'm good at spelling i can spell everything properly but i just typed about really fast and it was a b about. yeah u o t rather oh about. yeah well i was reading the evening standard on the train home yesterday and there was an article by the editor uh what's his name George Osmond mm -hmm. thing. in one sentence it had two grammatical errors and this was the editor of the newspaper shocking anyway I'm getting the buzz on the low battery so I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the vlog George Osborne not Osmond <laughs> that's it right okay well you'll be back tomorrow for dinner and then we will yeah. finally be Alex and Maddie again Yay, great. I've actually, I was saying in the, yesterday's vlog, you should watch it. It's kind of nice to be separate for once in a while because we're always around each other all the time. It's a pity it's only for like two days though. <laughs> I think it's healthy in a relationship to be apart. It is. It's actually quite nice to sleep in a bed on my own. Yeah, and do your own thing. I'm stealing the duvet and rolling onto my side and <laughs> breathing heavily in my face, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye because I don't like you anymore. Yeah. How many animals have you got on the bed? Last night I had two. Oh dear. A cat and Elmo? Yeah. I think Elmo needs to be taken down a peg. <sighs> don't see that happening anytime soon. What you need to do is you need to, you need to be the alpha. You need to get down on all fours and growl at him. <laughs> okay. We'll try that tomorrow, then, shall we? And then you, you need to favour... Um, Willow and Midnight and just really bully Elmo and then <laughs> learn his lesson well we'll put it to the test now we're in Cornwall yeah okay stay tuned to that <laughs> have you seen Zeus last question have you seen Zeus yes but I didn't film okay. it okay alright I'll film Zeus tomorrow for you guys yeah okay well I'll say goodbye to them and then I'll carry on talking to you let's say goodbye right. to, goodbye to the vlog Goodbye, the vlog. Goodbye. Christmas Day.